Have you ever felt trapped inside of your own life? I know what it feels like. I think it was about seven years ago, I was at a zoo. I think it was a school field trip and I was helping the chaperone and I was uh, at this exhibit and it was just this kind of round uh, exhibit, kind of a dome fenced in area, about as big as a large living room with a pretty tall ceiling. In the middle of this, there was a tr small tree that spread out and filled most of the space in this exhibit. I looked around and I couldn't see anything. So I did what I hate to do at the zoo, which is read anything. And so I read the placard and it said some kind of eagle. And I was like, wait, there's no room in this exhibit for this eagle to fly. Sure enough, up on the branch, I see this eagle. And I think I spent about two years in my mind having a conversation with this eagle. The eagle's life was amazing to me. It, it, was, it was comfortable. It didn't have to fight for its life in there. It was pretty secure. They fed it, I'm sure. And people would stop and say, look, mom, it's an eagle. It's cool. So the eagle, in a sense, had the perfect life. It was comfortable. It was secure. It was well-fed. And people even looked at it every now and then and said, oh, that's cool. The reason the eagle's life was so interesting to me is because I felt like I was living that eagle's life. I had, I had formed this life where I had comfort and I had security and lots of it. But that's what I was living for. I was living to keep my comfort and security. I had a job in teaching that I liked and it was a worthwhile venture, but I felt like I was I felt like I was just doing it for the comfort and security of it. I wasn't doing it for the meaning I used to do it for. I didn't bring purpose to it. I just wanted to hold on to it like it was my security blanket. It had become my identity. So at the same time that I was enjoying this job okay, I felt like the walls were closing in on me and the ceiling was lowering. I felt like there was more in me I wanted to give, but at the same time, the comfort and security was pretty compelling. And I'll just stay comfortable and stay secure. And I felt myself descending as a man. I wasn't getting sharper and stronger. I was getting lazy. I was getting soft. I was getting weak. I was descending. I didn't like where that was going. I recall the rest of the conversation with the eagle it was a very difficult question that in my mind I asked the eagle, Mr. Eagle, what do you do with those wings hanging from your side? What's it like to never use them? That question was the question of my life because at the same time, so much of me was just comfortable and secure, there was some, there was part of me, a small part of me, yet a powerful part of me that was saying, there's something more you have to give. That I, there was something in me that said, I couldn't be content to just be comfortable and secure every day. I had to give my best to life. I had to give my best to people. I was reading a book during that time of wrestling and the first line of the book simply said, stop living as if the goal of life is to arrive at death safely. So I read it again, I read it again, and then I handed it to my wife. I was on the treadmill at the time, I handed it to her. She was next to me and I said, read the first line. Stop living as if the goal of life is to arrive at death safely. I said, I'm leaving the school. In the school that I was at for, I think, 14 years, the next day I informed them, this is my last year at the school. And I left the cage I was in. I'm not recommending that everyone go leave your job and go fly away and just see where you land. I don't think everyone has to do that. I'm certain of that. 
But sometimes by how we look at our life, we put ourselves in a cage. For many people, what we need to do is change how we think about our life. And we don't necessarily have to change to make massive, drastic changes to do that. I'm going to give you two ideas on what you can do to shift your life if you feel like you're starting to be trapped in your own life. First of all, here's what I would say. Do something with the extra time of your life to help restore the adventure. Maybe, uh, maybe join a gym that has some kind of workout that's challenging to you. Maybe get yourself a new hobby, learning how to play an instrument. Maybe go train to climb a mountain, doing something physical. Maybe you, maybe you start a side job to see if you can make something happen. Make a video course and see if you can sell it. Maybe try to start a business with one of your kids mowing lawns or do something with the extra time of your life where you have space to spread your wings. Think about that. You don't have to vacate your whole life. Create a space in your life where you can spread your wings. Now, the second thing I want to say, if you feel like you're starting to be trapped in your life, you probably need to add the dimension of other relationships into your life. Find some people, maybe even just one person, that they're living the kind of life that you feel is bold and free. You feel like you're not living bold and free anymore. Hang out with someone that you feel like is living bold and free. It'll rub off on you. Mm -hmm. So those are the two things I would say to you. If you feel like you're trapped, if you feel like you're trapped in your life, it's not because you're living a bad life necessarily. And you don't have to throw away everything that you're doing. Maybe it's just a simple practical step that you can take to give yourself space to spread your wings and fly.